What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Drop as many comments as you can down below. Uh, like and share video. Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody is blessed. If you're struggling right now in your life, I pray God bring you through. I pray God, excuse me, I pray God bless you. I pray God guide you, you know, through, uh, through your situation in life. I pray we pour blessings on you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're new to my channel and everything, you're a new subscriber, I'm letting you know I talk about real stuff on here. I talk about relevant stuff on here and everything. As you guys well know, I am pro-black and everything. I'm not no damn Uncle Tom. I'm here to, to challenge specifically, here to challenge everybody, but specifically our black brothers and sisters. So please enjoy. If you see a video that you don't like or whatever, don't agree with, I got plenty of other topics that I talk about on here that may be beneficial to you. All right, <clears throat> here we go. One second, y'all. Okay. Sorry about that. I just had to hook my head and set up real quick. All right, the topic of conversation is liability liability versus an asset liability versus asset in other words who's an asset in your life and who's a liability let me explain something to you guys real quick if you're good with accounting and everything you're gonna do you're gonna have these two all form of transactions and everything in your general ledger. Okay, mark them down, write them down, get them together. Now, I'm, now, as this relates to uh, humans and in real life and everything, you have people around your life and everything that you can count on and everything, and you have people around your life and everything that would be there with you and be there for you each and every day of your life. They come running when you need help and everything. They're an asset. <clears throat> They're an asset to you. You guys, excuse me if I sound kind of muffled and everything. I just woke up not too long ago. But um, they're an asset in your life. And then you have people, you know, I get to you when I can. Uh, I don't get to you at all. Or I call you whenever and everything. Those are liabilities, you guys. Remember, the whole object of a transaction is to tally up all your assets and dismiss or delete your liabilities. That's the whole purpose of a general electric uh, column. You guys, people walk through this world like they're zombies sometimes. They walk through here and everything like they like they don't know, don't have a care in the world. You know, hey, they enjoying their family, they enjoying this, which is nothing wrong, but they don't take the time to talk about things that is relevant in life. They don't take the time to do that. They're so busy all uh, worried about other stuff and everything. And like I said, you, I mean, you ain't got to take the time to speak up about stuff. But here's my problem. If something happens to you or you get a taste of what's going on in the world while you're trying to section yourself off from the world and everything, why do you want someone else to care when you didn't care about somebody else? And what you have to learn and everything, everybody that's in your life is not an asset to you. I'm gonna say it again, everybody that's in your life is not an asset to you. You got people, like I said, people come, they bring problems, they bring trouble, they bring phoniness, they bring ignorance, and everything. Those are liabilities, you got to wipe them out. You gotta, gotta get, your, get them out of your life. You guys, this life is short. Jesus on his way back, and everything. And you, I, what I want you guys to do is try to enjoy life as much as you can. But at the same time, enjoy life. Make sure you acknowledge and everything what's what's real and what's going on around you okay don't be afraid to speak your mind don't be afraid to figure people figure people out okay because what happens is when somebody realizes that you didn't figure them out or you as they say you didn't made them and everything you figure out what their game is then everything then they know they can't run it no more people will use you and everything they play games they sit here and everything if they help you to get uh, $30 and everything. They want you to give them $50. If they, if you 
borrow twenty dollars from them, they want to turn around and say, "Hey, can I? You got thirty dollars on you? It ain't nothing but a game. That's all it is." And watch out for what I call loan sharks. And I ain't talking about the kind you. I ain't talking about just the kind you gamble at the uh, the bar. Excuse me, the kind of people that be at gambling rings. I'm talking about people that's in your own family and your own friends. And they got very loan shark type behavior and tactics. And like I, just like I described and everything, if you, if they help you get $50, they're going to want you to help them get $100. And some people won't even help you and everything if they ain't get, they ain't get nothing in return. So please understand something and everything. Keep only assets in your life. Keep only assets in your ear. Get rid of the liabilities. You know, I've been, like I said, I've been ignored many a times and everything. And I had people, you know, ain't got time for me, you don't pay me no attention or whatever the case may be. That's fine. There were liabilities to me. And like I said before and everything, don't chase a liability. Never chase a liability because you're going to lose your asset. You're going to lose what's important in your life. That's why I tell you guys, hang on. Hang on and everything to your assets. Hang on to real friends and real family. Other family and everything, like I said, they're liabilities to you. They're liabilities. Like I said, the difference between a family member a family member, and a uh, relative is that a relative just related to you by blood connection. But a family checks on you. A family talks to you. A family, if you had a disagreement, a family sit down and want to discuss it with you. A relative is like, hey, they treat you just like an associate. Like, hey, you ain't want to be bothered. Uh, he did this or whatever, or she did that. You know, I'll let him go. That's what I'm telling you. I'm keep telling you I have far more associates and everything in terms of family. Do I have actual uh, family? I have far more relatives than I have family. Family stick together. Family and everything go to each other for advice. Family is welcome at each other's house and everything. Relatives, hey, I see you when I see you. I holler at you when I holler at you. That's pretty much what it is, if I holler at you at all. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys and everything. You watch people and everything. Please pay attention to people's behavior because people's actions speak louder than words. Never believe what somebody tells you. Always believe what, they, what somebody do. Watch their behavior. Because these people out here and everything, don't nobody care about nobody no more. They don't care. You know, they go on about their life and they don't care if you live or die. Hey, whatever. That's why I try to tell y'all, liability. Keep assets around you. I got people and everything that's not even related to me. It treats me better. So that's why I tell you guys and everything. Don't worry about people. Don't be stressing out with people. This life is short. You know, continue to pursue what you need to pursue in life. Continue to keep chasing what you need to chase in life. Get rid of the get rid of a liability relationship. Get rid of that. The last thing you need and everything is for your man or your woman to come home and, and talking down on you. Saying how no good you are, saying how they how he or she can get a better man or better woman than you. I'm like this. If you feel you can get somebody better, well be my guest and go. Because I'm not gonna hear that every day I come home. No need to argue, you don't need to create a scene and everything. You, you want some better, go, go get better. I don't want you to be miserable and I don't want to be miserable. That's why I said why I'm done calling and all that and everything. Some people I've deleted out of my phone. Understand some of everything, you guys. People come, people go. People, they will come around and people leave. They, like I said, if people would just be real and announce why they're in your life, things would be a lot better and a lot easier. Everybody's not going to do that. See, me and everything, I tell you why I'm there. I'll let you know why I'm there. I'll be up real up front with you. But we don't have that no more. So I know you guys see my uh, shirt I had on this one before about the legends, the real legends, and everything that made a uh, difference in life and everything. Don't nobody even talk about them like that no more. Especially when black history went, black, black history went now is considered a mockery. The way people go about it, particularly with our own people and everything. So like I said, get rid of the liabilities in your life. 
get rid of them. Find out if somebody really down for you. Because if they're down for you like they claim they are, they have became an asset. The most, one thing I've heard and everything, the most expensive thing in this world is trust. And Lord knows I struggle with trusting people. But the most expensive thing in this world is trust. Because it can take years for you to gain somebody trust, but it can take a few seconds to lose somebody trust. And a lot of people have lost my trust. And I don't know a lot of people don't care and everything, but I'm used to that. I'm used to that. So, <clears throat> when I tell you guys and everything, live your life. Care about somebody else other than just the ones you love. If you see, if you a black woman, you heard about a girl getting raped down the street from where you live at and everything, try to speak out and try to care. Because how would you feel if that was you? Don't nobody care nothing about nobody no more. Everybody worry about them and theirs. Hey, whatever happened ain't got nothing to do with me. That's, that's not how we supposed to act and behave as human beings. So, do it. I mean, you live your life the way you want to. You ain't got to hear me on these videos. I understand. But I'm going to keep being real about it. So I'm just letting you keep the assets close to you. Keep the liabilities away from you. Listen to what the assets are saying to you. Because they're going to help you and profit you and everything in the long run. Keep people around you that's real with you. Keep people around you that actually love you and not just related to you. Keep people around and everything that speak over you, speak good over you, instead of just putting you down and dogging you. Keep your wife around and everything. If she's, if she's concerned about you know your mental health, she's concerned about how you feel. She's concerned about how she talk to you. That's somebody who give a damn. But get rid of the wife and everything. If she, every damn day she come in, so it's a problem. She telling you what she want better. You ain't about nothing. I could have done better. Everybody makes mistakes. I mean, you, yeah, you can, somebody can say, well, you need to ask her why she feels that way and everything. But if you're doing your part as a man and you, you're leading the right way, there's a lot of, like I said, nowadays, a lot of people and everything, a lot of females, I should say, don't want no man leading them. They don't want to take orders from no man. They think it's deplorable. They think it's degrading. But a woman ain't got time for that. And same thing with you, fellas. Ladies, I'll explain something to you. Uh, keep a man around if he care about how you feel. Keep a man around and everything he's concerned about your well-being. Keep a man around and everything that he care more about how you feel than how he could feel if he get in, you know, if he get, if he end up trying to have sex with you. Care, make sure you care and everything. Find somebody that care about you. Other than just somebody you related to. But get rid of all, all men and everything that don't care. Get rid of men that walk in the house don't even speak to you. Get rid of men that don't treat you right. Get rid of a man that don't take care of his responsibility as a man. Niggas sitting up here playing PlayStation should be at work. So I'm just letting you guys know. There's too many liabilities in our life. Too many of them. God knows I know several of them. See, the thing with me, I see people for what they are. Not for what they false advertise to me. So make sure, make sure you're dealing with a, uh, make sure you can uh, distinct between which one you're dealing with, an asset or a liability. Remember, our asset will run to your aid at the drop of a hat. Our asset will try to uh, motivate you. Tomorrow as a person, will try to motivate you. An asset will stick by you. An asset will fight with you and everything to the end. But a liability will say, hey man, I'll get back to you. Hey man, I can't come get you. Hey man, I understand and everything. Hey man, hey, that's your war, not mine and everything. Get rid of people like that. It don't mean you no good. It's Beretta 19. Check you. I'm gonna got a real one for you. You check your wallet. Check your heart. Make sure you know and everything who care about you and who don't. Because there's a lot of people out here, they're liabilities. Come bringing drama into your life, come acting crazy, or passing judgment on you and don't know you. Or whatever the case may be. You keep assets around you. Brother 19, y'all be blessed.